Yeah, it's your boy Big Moochie Great, the gigantic great. And you know I got my son with me. And we just jumped out the porch with Dirty Glove Bow. It's the biggest. Yo, I send the blitz, they go do damage. Yo, smoke so many woods. Alright, so we got Big Moochie Great jumping off the porch with us today, man. The gigantic great. Yes, sir, man. You know, this is a long time coming, Mooch, man. You've been coming up here with so many different artists. Sure. Just show my nickname, Lil. Do what I do. Nah, right. Definitely, man. Yeah. So now that you got the album out, man, you know, it's perfect timing for us to actually have a conversation, too, man. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely, man. So first off, just go ahead and, you know, introduce everyone that you got sitting on the porch with you today, too, man. You got my young nigga, Jay Reed, the underage Green Reaper. Oh, and I got my little cousin, Lil Yo, Lil Tim. Crip crazy. This is my artist. I got another artist too, but he ain't here. But okay. this one of my artists. This, you know what I mean? Hefe. And my boy. Clock. Clock. For sure, man. Yeah, we just had Hefe on the porch too, man. Yeah. So yeah. That's good, bro. All right, man. So let's take it back to Memphis though, man. Just kind of talk about like your childhood. What was it like growing up there for you, man? I ain't had no childhood. I was incarcerated my whole childhood. How yeah. young we talking? My first time getting locked up, I was like eight. Eight? Yeah. What they lock an eight-year-old up for? Throwing rocks at cars. It was me and my two cousins, and they were older than me. I was just the youngest one. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, what, what other type of trouble was you getting into then after that, man? My all type of shit, bro. Taking guns to school, BB guns, real guns, hmm. elementary school type shit, like, yeah. Skipping, I used to like skip school in the fifth grade. Like 10, 11, running the streets and shit. Me and my nigga see murder. He locked up for life though, right now. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't never liked school. Hmm. Never did. What was the last grade you did then? Like the ninth or the tenth? Like 19th grade. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So safe to say, you was off the porch pretty fucking young then, huh? Yeah, pretty young. Yeah. Yeah, really. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Like my daddy used to let us run the streets and shit. Like he used to sit on the porch and let us. Running the screen and shit, my mom used to always argue. I'm like, why the fuck you got these folks out here like that? But, you know, like, like Pops is a gangster. Yeah. I mean, so it's all good. How's your Pops doing today? He in jail, he incarcerated. Yeah. It's all good. He, he, he all right. You got to stay in contact, though? Yeah, I take her on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's my nigga. I got to take her on. Nah, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. So how proud, you know, is he of everything that you've been able to accomplish, man? You know, finding a different way. He proud, he just did. It's fucked up that he can't see it. You know what I'm saying? But he will soon though. Okay. You coming home soon? He got a few more years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He got a few more years. And what what side of Memphis are you from? The East. Okay. Better known as East Haiti. Yeah. Parkway was... Village. Okay. All that shit. Yeah. yeah. Why do they call it East Haiti? That's the name me and, you know what I'm saying, my cousin them came up with, like, on some, like, you know how everybody call their hood, the rag, they call their hood Afghanistan, shit like that shit. We just, he's hated, so. Hmm. We just came over there and we just stuck to it. Yeah. And put everybody else on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like the east side differs much from the other parts of Memphis, or is it all pretty much the same shit be going on? It's pretty much the same, but it's different too, though. Hmm. Like, niggas get money all over Memphis, but. My hood get money, money. Yeah. yeah. Like we get money, money. Yeah, you know, Memphis definitely has this reputation as being a, you know, very violent place, very dangerous place, man. Um, so how young would you say you were when you kind of exposed to all that violence and everything? Shit. Like six? Like real talk, like I was like six my first time ever getting shot at. What the fuck? Throwing rocks at cars. We in my auntie house, and it's like in her backyard, it's like a big ass field, but it's like everybody the backyard in this one field, like the houses around the corner, like you go around the corner too, like they back, like they house in the backyard, you know what I'm saying, like all this shit in one field. So it's me, my cousins, my brother, my other cousin come from Greenville, Mississippi, like it's plenty of a lot of friends and shit, we throwing rocks at the car. My cousin hit the nigga car, boom. So. The nigga kept going, so we like, fuck it, we finna stay right here. Man, the nigga put the car in reverse, came back, jumped out the car, started shooting it up. Oh, shit. Yeah, and came back to my auntie house and was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knocked yeah. on the door and told yeah, them? Yeah, see, he actually came to the house and everything, yeah. God damn. Yeah, it was my first time ever getting shot at, I was like six. Damn. 
Man. Was it like all young kids out there? Yeah, it was, was all it? young. The oldest person out there was probably like 12. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, the old person out there probably about six. Yeah, my mom was 12. Yeah, about 12, 13, probably. Huh. Yeah. Do you feel like the city's gotten worse over the years since when you were coming up to today? Or is this pretty much the same shit been going on? It's it been, been going on, but yeah, it's getting worse. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like back then when I was young, motherfucker went down like that. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucker down left or right now. Yeah. Like left or right, everybody down. What do you feel like is causing that? Is it just like the, the new generation coming up? They're a little more wild than you guys were? Or? It's just like, I feel like everybody feel like they got a point to prove now. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like not that everybody like, oh, we got to be the toughest or, oh, we rapping about this. We got to live up to this shit or woo -doo -woo -doo, like whatever nigga got going on. This them, me, I've been doing this shit my whole life. So I'm just really telling my life story. I ain't, this all I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you have much like positive guidance out there at the time when you were coming up, when your dad went away or? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. One shit positive. Old heads be like, young you need to stay in school. But then pay me the blood 10 seconds later. Like, nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Are you starting I heard to some little positive shit, but it was mainly. Like, she going to one after the other. Like, I used to listen to myself. Like, mm. I used to go with my instincts since a young nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It had me in good situations, it had me in bad situations, but I'm still here though to tell my story. You know what I mean? Nah, definitely. Yep. You know, now that you're a little older, you know, I see some youngins around you, man. Are you starting to embrace, like, being an OG then? Yeah, I've been an OG since I was 22. Mm. No, Carolina Young. I've been, I'm 27, gonna be 28. I'm, I've been OG's, I was 22, like, I'm down to double OG right now. I'm passing this shit down, you know what I mean? The brand name, like, you know what I mean? Yep. I've been had a name in the streets way before rap, like, my name been, you know what I mean? So, yep. What do you feel like is some of the biggest obstacles the youth in Memphis is facing right now coming up, man? I don't know. I don't, I don't be in everybody else's situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? I be worried about myself and what I got going on and trying to better me and my folk, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can't be worried about nobody else right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's fucked up though, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they going through, I hope it get better for them, but you know, I ain't, my mind ain't set on it right now. I got you. Yeah. So how did the rapping, how did making music come about for you then? Like, niggas used to like do little freestyles and shit in the car, like play instrumental with my little brother and them and shit. Like, but nigga ain't never took that shit serious, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But like when I took it serious, serious, when I went to jail in like 2018, and then I got out, and then my auntie came to me. She was like, my dolphin daddy said, you need to get in the studio. Ooh, ooh. So I just started rapping and just stuck with it. Huh. You know what I mean? What was her connection to that? Like, you know, like, she from out here, like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's my auntie, you know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. Everybody locked in, so. Okay. Yeah. So who'd you grow up listening to? Like, who were some of your favorite rappers back in the day? Gucci, Future, uh, Dobie, Chief Keef, Dolph, shit. Uh, I used to listen to A-Ball and MJG. Uh, I used to listen to Too Short back then. My mom used to have me on him. Uh, uh, who I was to back then? Shit. Oh, uh, what's the little nigga now signed the future? Doughboy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, before Doughboy, way before. Yeah, he, he was so young boy. when he first came out. Yeah, like they look, rapping out the Tupac beat and shit, like uh -huh. start 1990 with all this shit. Like, yeah, I've been bumping this shit. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mm. Shit, that's about it. Yeah. I think. I listen to all type of people, but them the main motherfuckers that I can actually say like I actually like playlists. You know what I'm saying? So were you rapping while you were locked up too? Like did you plan to, you know, jump into the booth, take this rap shit serious when you were locked up or? Uh uh. I thought I was gonna get back out and just get on the same shit I was just doing before I went in. Just me. But. You know, shit, Burnham kind of knew what an opportunity, so I just took advantage of the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Did that shit come natural to you when you hit the studio and had to record the songs? It's a lot different than just freestyling, you know? 
I don't know. It's just a hidden talent, fool. Like, like it's just a real gift. Like, I ain't know this shit was just gonna happen like that. Like, nigga, flow crazy. My flow crazy as hell, fool. Like, I don't know. This shit just came in at the right time, perfect time. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like how you said that, it's like a hidden talent. Like, you didn't know you could do this <laughs> shit, but you know, ever since you started dropping, you ain't dropped one week song, man. I haven't dropped a bad. I'm Mr. Don't Miss. No cap. I'm Mr. Don't Miss. You'll never hear a bad song from me. Now, if you do make a bad song, do you just delete that shit? You don't even think about even, dropping it? My folks, my managers and shit, I ain't even let me. I don't make bad music. Like, I ain't gonna never put nothing bad out. If I feel like I don't like it and they don't like it, we ain't gonna never, you ain't gonna never, y'all ain't gonna never hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if we know everybody else don't like it, then, you know, get to them. Yeah. But, you know, like, I don't make bad music, bro. I make, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get versatile with this shit, though. Like, I'm trying to, like, do some R&B features and shit like that. Like, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, go that route. Like, yeah. trying, to, trying to make some shit different right quick. Yeah, kind of expand that fan base. Mm -hmm. I feel that. I want me like a Juice World fan base, some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? This who gonna, this, this who paying the money. This who, you know what I'm saying? I need Juice, you know what I'm saying? Juice World fan base. Uh, with the young nigga night, like, extension, some shit like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, they crazy shit. But, uh, I want they fan, Mars pissing, shit like that. I need some <laughs> shit like that going on. <laughs> No cap. So who gave you the name Moochie? My grandma, Grizzly P. My grandma. She named it when I came out, my mom. Oh, for real? Yeah. So that's been with you. Yeah. But my family called me Smoochie, but this is my daughter nickname now. Really? Mm-hmm. So did everyone in the streets always know you as Moochie or? Yeah. 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 If you want, if you didn't know me, know me, you would think Moochie was my real name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you come home, um, you meet Dolph. Was that your first time meeting Dolph? Nah, I already home? was around. You know what I'm saying? It's just that like I was making songs like previously before I went to jail, mm -hmm. and I guess they caught on to them songs like, oh yeah, like he can do something. Yeah. So, but I went to jail right behind it, like right, right behind it. So, I think I had made a song with the jail the next day after I made it. Oh, shit. Yeah. I did a song Pee Wee Long Way, cover his artist, is me and Phil's. And the, uh, what's the nigga? Damn. What my boy named Cassius J. Okay. Yeah, he did the beat. And I was just sitting there. I had a paper I chain on, though, but I ain't never on it. I wasn't How'd never. You get the chain? It was one of Phil's junk. So okay. I'm just sitting in there. I'm like, I'm just on some, like, just chilling shit. Like, he like, oh, look, bro, you rap. I'm like, yup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was like, Hey, can I get a bar from you right quick? I'm like, hell yeah. So I went there and did the shit. I come back out, he's like, little bro, who you signed to? He's like, you signed a dog? I'm like, no, nah, but this one I'm fucking with though. He was like, bro, I'm trying to sign you. Long way told you this? Long way tried to sign me before too. Yeah. No okay, cap, before I was signed a dog. No shit. Yeah. But, along with my brother though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm you sure know, you get compared to him a lot too, don't you? Yeah, I get compared to him, Gucci, Project Pat. Yeah. I'll talk I see you. more Gucci in, like, in your style. Even like listen to this new album, mm -hmm. he definitely got some shit that sound like the old Gucci. Yeah, I'm the one put me in that Gucci vibe. Yeah. yeah. I'm the one song. Absolutely, man. Yeah. So how long after you come home does, does Dolph lock in and be like, all right, we, we need you on the team right now? Shit, first day. First day? Soon I got out. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I got out, I pulled up on him at the studio. Okay. Yeah. From so. jail to the studio, I ain't even go home or nothing. I went from jail straight to the studio. <laughs> so you mentioned like rap wasn't on your mind at that time. Did it, was it a big transition for you to say, all right, I'm going to put the streets alone. I'm going to focus on this music shit right now. Nah, but well, see, this is the crazy part of it. Like, I was signed still in the streets, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, I'm in the hood. Like, all type of money on me and shit, like, jury round, like, bro, I'm like, man, what you doing, bro? You gotta get today, get to work. Like, I'm just so stuck to being a street nigga, like, like, not to the day, like, sometimes I don't even feel like no rapper, like, I'm just too much of a street nigga, like, this shit don't get to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck around and pose, like, I was, like, had to go to Memphis for, like, a, a day or two just to shoot a video or something. I fuck around, stay there two, three weeks, knowing it's dangerous, nigga, hating it, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, Motherfucker don't want me down there, but 
I feel safe there, you know what I'm saying? Like in my hood, you know what I'm saying? That's where you're comfortable at. Yeah, they won't come with it. Nigga don't play around her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if they do, it's suicidal, you know what I'm saying? So, to each his own, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like doing, you know what I'm saying? Just, but, I don't know. I just love, I just love East Haiti. Paul Wick Beatles, I love this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit made me. Did yeah. Dolph or Daddy will ever try and like persuade you, like, hey man? Kind of, you know, get out the streets. Let's do this music shit full time. Man. All the time. All the time. I be listening, but you know, sometimes like I still be like to do my own thing. Yeah. Like I'm grown, but it don't never hurt to listen though. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know how you listen, but this the end up coming up. You like, damn, like we gonna listen to Brother, but I'm finna go ahead and go ahead. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. What was it like hitting the road and touring with him? This shit was lit. He took me on tour right after he signed me. Like, yeah. This is what I'm saying. Like, I come from lit shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I came in the game on straight lit shit. Like, I came fresh in the game, two songs, like, performing two songs everywhere. Everybody fuck with me. Like, I've been rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was lit. For I don't lie. I don't lie. Bro's a real nigga, fool, the realest nigga. Yeah, yeah Dolph was the realest nigga in the world, fool. Still is, though. You know? Yeah, what can you tell us about Dolph that the average fan may not know about him? You know, what he was like outside of the music and all that. He was just genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like that, you know what I'm saying? Didn't like the bad vibes and shit around him, you know what I'm saying? Wanted good energy around him, you know what I'm saying? Just on some positive, good vibe and ass shit. And he always thinking of a master plan for each, each one of us, you know what I'm saying? Like for each artist he got, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, always wanted us to shit on everybody else. That was his main goal, like for his artists to be on top and popping their shit and doing what they want to do with this rap shit, like. Yeah. yeah, cause he always joked around, like I'm retired, you know. I want I want my people to shine. I want them to kind of take over this shit too. Yeah. It's still gonna go. It's still gonna happen though. Nah, you guys are lit right now. Come on, man. Hey, this shit ain't stopping for nobody, man. Yeah. This shit ain't stopping for nobody. Yeah. I swear it, man. So, you know, what was your reaction when you learned what had happened to him? Because I know for us, it, it didn't even seem real. It didn't, like, sink in right away. It didn't seem real to me, neither. Still don't. Like, I still be having dreams, like, bro, fuck around and walk in the door or something. Know what I'm saying? Just be on some tripping shit. Like, mucho. Ooh, just on some. Know what I'm the shit you do. Know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, like my best friend died right beside me. Like, had me and Labrea right here. Like, she be, you know what I'm mean? saying? I be waking up cold, sweet. Like, she be hitting me, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, she with brother too. Like, just be, like, bro, I been through a lot of shit, you know Like, shit these niggas talking about, I done did it five, ten times. Like, back to back to back to back to back. Like, this is why I like, this is why I really don't be studying shit these niggas be talking about. Like, Cause I'd have been there, done that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I did it to the fullest, like to the to the worst, like to the worst you can get it. And I survived this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Like, yeah. yeah, I'd have been through the worst, like the worst, worst. These niggas. Like, yeah, man. What do you feel like Dolph's legacy is in, <laughs> especially in Memphis right now? Like, this shit gonna forever live on. For as long as he got niggas like us, his, you know what I'm saying? And bro was a, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody love bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can't let no, like, that's a legend. Ain't no a legend that never die. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My nigga still here. We putting it down. That's it. I swear to God, we putting it down, bro. What type of emotions did you go through while recording in Dolph We Trust? My... My folks just came to me and were like, we finna make a, a tribute CD for bruh. So I was like, shit, say no more. I just went to the studio, found the beat. That beat was perfect for it. And you see what I said, it felt how I felt. Yeah. Was that your first time hitting the studio since he had passed or were you had already been recording since then? I think, yep, I think that was the first time. Yeah, you know, get back, yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the first. <coughs> That was the first one. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Did 
did you ever feel like giving up at that point or did that kind of just motivate you to want to even go harder? Yeah, I feel like both. I feel like giving up ain't going harder, like mixed emotions, you know what I mean? Just, just how I'm feeling at the time. Cause like, bro died like three days before my birthday. Oh shit. Yeah, he died on the 17th, my birthday on the 20th. So, fucked up for me, bro. I'm like, I, I sat in the house all day. Big walls of money, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Like, I got the money already, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Like, it's my birthday, like, me and bro gonna turn up, he, you know what I mean? I'm just, shit, shit went left, bro. Yeah, shit went left. Bullshit, though. I swear I wish this shit, man, like. It's my nigga, though. It's all good. He know what we finna do to him, though. I swear he do. You guys have definitely been putting on for him since his absence. Man. Do you feel like um, that kind of brought you and everyone else in PRE like even closer together since you guys had to go through all that shit together? Now we've been close, but this is what the outsiders don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, because we don't go do this all us at once together, or we don't go do all this at once together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody think, oh, we're, we're motherfuckers on the outside looking in, like we don't fuck with each other. But, we really locked in though, you know what I'm saying? We really been close. So. It's just, you know, folks do what they do. Yeah. Suck dick. You know. <laughs> Can't stop them from doing it. Yeah. They don't keep somebody dick in their mouth. So what was this most recent tour, uh, the Yellow Tape tour like, you know, considering Dolph wasn't there, because you know he would have been there with you guys. So. She was lit, bro. Come on, bro. Every nigga know a paper route party gonna be lit as fuck. Like. <laughs> Nigga know, bro. Like, they, everything was lit. Everything was lit, bro. Shit gonna stay lit forever, though. Yeah. Cause Dog was a lit nigga, you know what I'm mean? saying? The independent way. Mm -hmm. Nigga wanna know that. Nigga, when it come to independent shit, nigga knew that. You speak on in, independent, you gotta speak on bro, you know what I'm mean? saying? So, Absolutely. Yeah. And it's like he gave all you guys the blueprint on how to do this shit, too, man. Absolutely. All right, so East Haiti, baby. This shit's out right now. This shit is going crazy. The man. hottest shit out, Dang. I swear. If you ain't listening to it, you is a real lame. <laughs> and you don't know good music. Like. Yeah. Now, you know, this shit charted like pretty good too. Did that surprise you or you was like, I know I'm gonna fuck him up with this shit. I knew I was gonna fuck him up with it, but I know I was gonna fuck him up. It could have, I expected it to do better, really. Really? I expected it to do better than what it did. Hmm. But it's all good. I did great. Yeah. Yeah. This, your, this your first album in two years, right? When number live on the charts. Bro, that's good, man. Yeah. Yeah. So why is this your first album, first solo album in two years? I know you was dealing with a lot of legal bullshit, too. Yeah. Going to jail. Just dealing with all, you know what I'm mean? saying? Just, just crazy shit, but I had to get my mind right though. Hmm. You know what I'm mean? saying? Just had to get myself right and prepare myself for what my job is, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, this shit here, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, oh, I gotta do this and do that, be around people and interact with people, and, you know what I'm saying? Staying out of trouble and making sure I can go do shows and get my money so I can feed my folks and shit like that, you know what I'm mean? saying? Inside these niggas up here. Gotta feed all of them. I gotta make sure all my niggas are millionaires and shit. You know what I mean? Like, that type of shit I'm on. I like to feed my niggas with my, with my lads. Like, I done did it plenty of times. Like, my little cousin to tell you. Like, I'm, I'm doing this shit. Like, and I'm taking care of everything. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing my part. Like, yeah. I've been doing it though, broke. Like, when having shit, I was doing it. So, now I got it. It's already like going down. Yeah. It's going down. I salute you for that. Man. You finna see. You finna see. Just watch. Cause this like they, they'll put a good image on me just turning my niggas up. Like. Oh, they like, oh yeah, woo woo woo, like how Brett did. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm mean? saying? I just wanna do the shit Brett did. Turn my nigga them up. Like I said, I got two artists. My nigga don't believe in me. You know what I'm mean? saying? They just believed in me like they know I'm gonna be big as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So know when I get up there, I'm going big on big on them, so. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. They got to respect that, man. Yeah. So do you feel like this is the most you've ever been focused on music right now? Yeah. 
Yeah. Cause I see what I'm capable of, you know what I'm saying? With this shit, so yeah, I'm stuck now. Yeah. yeah. So what's your creative process like? Do you be writing or you punch in? You kind of do a little bit of both? I don't No writing. <laughs> no writing. I don't write a song. I never wrote a song. I don't write no songs. I just spread out the head like the baby fell out the bed. No cap. <laughs> I'm spread out the dome with this shit. How would you describe your growth as an artist, you know, from when you first started rapping up until this new project here? I feel like I'm elevating. I'm getting better. Oh, man. But you know, they will come with this shit, practice, make perfect. <clears throat> nah, I'm like AI with this shit. I don't even want to go to the gym. I just do this shit. Real talk. Yeah. Ain't none of these niggas fucking with me, bro. Like, uh, these niggas ain't seeing me. Which is, I'm just the underdog. I'm just the underdog right now. Cause right now, I'm supposed to be, East Hated Baby, supposed to be right there. Like, this in future. Where you going? <laughs> I'm right here. What's up? You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. Yeah. It's all good. I'm supposed to be knocking in some nigga doors. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, scoot over. Make room. But, yeah. They finna make room in a minute. I don't feel come through the hole like a bull, though. <laughs> no cap. I swear I'm finna knock all this shit down. They gotta feed me, though, one way or another. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm focused, though, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the right state of mind. Nah, it's good to hear, man. You know, we've been supporting your music. Like we talked about, never dropped a weak song, man. It was just like we couldn't get, you know, music consistently enough from you, man. Right. But now it feels like, what'd you put, 17 songs on this? 16, 15. 15? 15. And yeah. then I just did the, uh, the off the block. From the block? <clears throat> yeah, from the block, my bad. Yeah, yeah, from the block. And that's a whole nother song. Yeah, that freestyle? Freestyle too. Freestyle too. I did the freestyle one, I read it. Yeah, they were, I was going, I was trying to shoot a video to this song and just, you remember, bro, like pick a song and I'm just like, fuck it, you this one. Yeah. I got plenty of hard shit I could use, but. I just feel like that one was the one at the time. I feel that. Yeah. Let's talk about some of these videos, man, because your rollout's been crazy. You've been dropping these shits back to back. I ain't done yet. I'm already knowing. You know, I this shit just yet. dropped. <laughs> I, know I you swear, I'm got... trying to shoot a video to every song on that motherfucker. Might like, as well. Man. They all hits, you know? Yeah. yeah. But what was it like shooting that Christopher Wallace, you know, going up to NYC for this one, man? <laughs> this shit was like, to me like, hey, I don't shoot that video. It was like, a, like, you know, they were rolling loud, you know what I'm saying? So, bro, and Glock was performing, but, you know, two different times. So, I had the shit on, like the Kooja shit and the Tims and the Versace. I had all this shit on already, but I'm thinking I'm finna shoot the video later, later after. You know what I'm saying? Glock is gonna perform because Dog performed first. Bro, like, hell no, nah, come on, we finna go. Where we going? We finna shoot the video right now. Huh. My shit took eight, like, down close to nine hours. God damn. Bro, nigga, all over New York Times Square, the Mossy Projects, Big and Mama Spot, you know what I'm saying? The shit, his street, where they got his name in, mm -hmm. and the picture where the barbershop is, where his face and shit, like, it was just, just everywhere. Yeah, and the shit came out how a nigga wanted to, too. Yeah. The Joker stirs. Yeah, this shit was epic. Yeah. yeah. Held on to that shit, too. Like, bro, like, for me to do all that, bro, like, you see how these stirs lose, like, those stirs are tight on each other, like, one fault move, you can fuck around and fall down a hundred steps right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. I was trying to be careful. I tried to keep it light, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really fuck with the, I think everyone fucked with the video for Never Had shit, man. That shit, what were you guys in LA for that? Yeah. That shit was turned, man. Yeah. Big shit going on. Everything we doing is gigantic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. If you, you can read, it's in the inside of her. You know what I'm saying? Big boy gigantic. You got the long little dog right here too. So are you pretty hands on with your music videos? Like kind of giving directions for the concepts and everything? Or you kind of just nah, follow I'll see them? like Christopher Wallace, you know, this brush shit. Never had shit. Dog did that too because he was there. Okay. Yeah. Like, he's had his baby produced by Young Dog. You know what I mean? So, and every tape I do from here on out, produced by Young Dog, everyone. So, yeah. 
What's that chemistry like with band play when you guys are in the studio together? We like Gucci and Zay told me. I swear to God, like, this shit be going so crazy, fool. Like, but my nigga AOZ too out of Memphis. Mm -hmm. Fucking beast. AOZ a beast too, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. He's stupid. Yeah, that's my nigga. I'm trying to turn it up good too. I fuck with him. Uh, I just linked in with Murder, Murder Beats. Okay. I just linked in with him. Uh, uh, who else? Oh yeah, Sosa 808. Can't forget about Sosa. Uh, you know, a couple motherfuckers ran me. Got a couple people I fuck with. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, I don't know. I just don't receive beef from everybody because like, for like a year straight, like, I'm asking people to send like, I send an email like, like send the beast to her and they be straight disappointment. Like, hmm. shit, you like, you like, you don't even listen to me. Like, yeah, why would you send me that type of vibe? Man? Exactly. Like, you must don't listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell no. Nah. I'm like, fuck this shit. So I just stick to my folks, the niggas who I just name. I just gonna stick it to what you said. Yeah, I think that's what really helps you. It's like, you got a great ear for beats. Like, do you, does it take you a while to go through for you to find some shit that you like or? Yeah, because that's how I rap. I rap to the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how niggas just do the little thing just to make it rhyme and sound good? Like, if the beat switch up, I'm, I'm going to switch up the flow right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know I rap fast. You know what I'm saying? Just like the end of the day, that's a hit. It just, they, they slept on it, though. They slept on it every day. Like, they slept on it. It mm -hmm. motherfucker did way more than we, you know what I'm saying? But it did good, but at the end of the day, it was supposed to be out of her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They gonna learn one day. <laughs> They'll catch on. Yeah, they gonna learn one day. Did you have a personal favorite song on East Haiti, baby? Like one that you fuck with the most? Uh, or does that shit change every day, or? All on. Um, <laughs> but I don't let like what's been like having my ear er, er lately like take over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All this shit though, really though. But like I put like I had my whole tape on repeat, but I heard take over be like my I play that whole right back again. Oh, man. Yeah. All of them, but I do all of them like that. It just it, it changed day to day. Like if you like once I you like now I just wanna hear this again. Like after I heard it once. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to do a deluxe or are you just on to the next one? Yes. The deluxe is coming. Okay. Yes. Yeah, hey, yeah. I gotta drop a deluxe, fool. <laughs> I got to. You know, some people are like, man, fuck the deluxe. I got to. I got to. I ain't dropped in two years. Did y'all went, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing anything, but I gotta put some extra sauce on top of it. Yeah. And it's gonna be however many songs I'm put on there, but it's gonna be straight. Pete, right. it's gonna be all over again. Right. Uh, we know you lost your IG page, man. Um, don't feel bad, <laughs> they just took our shit too, man. We just lost 200,000 followers off this shit. So, do you know what they took you down for? Like, they said like 13 violations. I'm supposed to be getting it back though. That's the time I'm be getting it back. Nigga going through hell and hot water to do it though. Yeah. It's supposed to reappear real soon. Okay. So, you know, just go ahead and plug that new one. So everyone, because I saw a couple fake pages, some fake moochies out there, man. Nah, Big Moochie Great One. Yeah. It's verified in anything, so you're going to know. And you're going to see my son on the cover. Hmm. Oh, man. When'd you get that piece done? Oh, yeah, like two months ago. Nah. Two months. That's the newest one? Yeah, nah, these. All right, so, you know, like you said, you're more focused than you ever been, man. So how do you like being a rapper, you know, being in this shit 10 toes down right now? I'm really just in this shit just to keep, you know what I'm saying? Paper route going on and for the money, you know what I'm saying? Just to make my nigga legacy grow big as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Be one of the biggest things that ever hit earth, you know what I'm saying? And get my bread out this shit and take care of my folks. That's all I really want to do. How would you compare the music industry to the streets, or is there really no comparison between the two? They the same, but they different. Because it's fake shit going on in the streets, fake shit going on in the industry. You got a couple real niggas in the industry, you got a couple real niggas in the streets, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, it just, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just gotta, niggas just gotta worry about themselves, fool. Basically, fool. Like, niggas just gotta worry about themselves, fool. Like, worry about the next nigga. This shit ain't healthy, fool. This is what these niggas be doing. Like, I'm not worried about no nigga. You would never, none of this shit, like. I got too much to do, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got too many mouths to feed. Like, well, I'm worried about what the fuck he doing. Straight. Straight up. I feel that. What's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now? If I can do it, you can do it. Never give up. Chase your dream. You know what I'm saying? This shit out here for it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga only got one life to live, fool. My will lead this shit to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to go out this bitch with a bang. They gonna glorify my deal. You know what I'm saying? When I leave this bitch, they gonna glorify me. No cap. Yeah. Uh, how have you been dealing with the fame? Like people recognize you out in public and shit like that. It's, was that I easy to adjust to? I show plenty of love, man. Eh? On my mom, I show love to all my fame. Like, oh, be moving great. Let's take a picture. Ooh, I'm like, all right, come on. I don't get no fuck where we yet. I ain't, I ain't scared. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't do no security. Just me and him. <laughs> like, no cap, just me and him. Do you plan to switch that the bigger you get, though? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna switch it. Nigga get bigger, you know, nigga gotta have, like, you know what I'm saying? You know. Nigga gotta move a certain way. I'm moving like the president, you know what I'm saying? But it's just that. I don't know, I just ain't scared of shit. I don't for shit, guy. But God. And AIDS. Aliens? AIDS. Fuck oh, you. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, the two things I fear. God and AIDS. No cap. And just wrap that shit up, man. <laughs> um, you know, along with love, though, unfortunately comes a lot of hate, man, and, you know, online trolls. How do you, do you deal with that shit, or do you just ignore that shit? I ignore this shit. Now, like, now I ignore this shit, like, but back then I used to get mad like, I used to always have to think like, bro, you used to tell me like, like, dog used to tell me like, bro, this the shit you finna have to face, like, this shit finna happen. So, you gotta be prepared, I'm not be prepared for it already, so, like, yeah. Fuck them, I brush them off like, you know what they do? Suck dick. Like, y'all don't know me? You feel like I don't know y'all? I won't speak on y'all. Why the fuck y'all speaking on me? Yeah. Like, then, like, the shit do not be true, like, this shit be all lies, like, just fabricating all type of shit, like, I'm not with all this, I ain't like, you hear me? That's why niggas always really worried about me, trying to see what I got going, like, oh, we got a fish lead. Don't worry about it. Just know when I pop out like a soap song, you niggas finna hate it. I swear, bro. Yeah, I feel like they just be looking for a reaction out of people, you know? It's like, they almost just want to be noticed, so they gonna say the most off the wall shit they can. Hoping to get, you know, a comment back. No, I'm not that guy. Let me see how long. Let me hit the big No, I'm not that guy, guy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna let them do all they talking, you know what I'm saying? I got shit I'm trying to do. And then half of the motherfuckers who doing the talking broke as a motherfucker problem. Like, I ain't got nothing to do. You probably on your mama. It, it's your mama house. You stay with your mama. You're jacking off on the couch and shit all day. Like, oh, your computer. You ain't got nothing going on, bro. Get out of my face. You ain't got shit going on with your life, man. Like, find you something better to do. Yeah, what I do, you know what I'm saying? If I ain't got shit to do, I'm gonna go find me something to do. And guess what? It's gonna be my business. I ain't worried about nobody else. I'm gonna just be on my cool shit, out the way shit. Yeah, I feel that. So what's next, Moochie? We know the Deluxe about to drop probably 10,000 music videos, man. What else you working on at the moment? I'm just working on getting big, bro. Put me some niggas on. The only thing I want to do is you get real big. Be one of the biggest to do this shit. And help my nigga them do the same thing I did. You know what I'm saying? Do what Dow taught me. So, is it. I respect that, man. Uh, you got any shout outs you want to give before we wrap it up here, Moochie? To everybody who love me. I love y'all back. To everybody who hate me, fuck it. Eat a sick dick. Straight like this. Sick and slow and die. Gigantic. East hated baby out right now. If you ain't know that you a square, you know what I'm saying? And I want to shout out, you know what I'm saying? Like my 
my management team, CEOs, and everybody in my gang, you know what I'm saying? Just straight like that. Everybody who down with me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who fuck with Big Moose is great. I fuck with y'all. Straight like that. The biggest. Yo, I send the blitz, they go through damage. Yo, smoke so many woods, feel like I'm camping. Like a